Liv. Today I am showing you three DIY food gift ideas. So just really quick before we start, for those of you who don't know, I actually started a second channel and it's called Liv's Healthy Life 2 and you can find it linked right here on my main channel or you can also just search Liv's Healthy Life 2 and hopefully it will pop up. But that is the place where I've been uploading all of the non-recipe video requests I get. So I did like grocery shopping tips, uh, vegan makeup collection, makeup routine, all of those kind of things. So definitely go subscribe to that if you're interested in the non-recipe videos that I have for you. And that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. Getting started with the cake, you are going to add one and a quarter cups of flour, three quarters cups of sugar, a teaspoon of baking soda, and whisk that all together. Then add two thirds cups of non-dairy milk, a third of a cup of oil, vegan yogurt or applesauce, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and a splash of vanilla. Then just mix that up. Then add it to an eight inch round cake pan and bake it at 350 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes or until it's golden brown on top. I never use a recipe for icing, so I just kind of eyeball it, but I add about two tablespoons of vegan butter and a little bit of powdered sugar. Then just cream that together. Then you're going to add a splash of non-dairy milk and stir that a little bit, and then just start adding powdered sugar until you get to the consistency that you like. So for this, you don't want it to be a super runny icing, but you also don't want it to be so stiff that you can't pipe it into the jar so you want a very kind of soft to medium consistency for this icing and then you can add whatever flavor of extract that you want I added imitation caramel extract and it was amazing but again you can add whatever kind you like so then you're just going to put your icing into a plastic bag and snip off the corner or if you have an icing piping bag then you can use that of course and once the cake has cooled you're going to cut it into cubes and then just take a mason jar and start layering the icing and the cubes of cake into the jar and you'll want to use either the end of a spoon or a fork and just poke it down as you go so that everything stays flat and you can really make it into layers and you don't want a lot of air trapped in here if you can help it so just kind of poke it down the best you can And as you go, just keep pressing it down a bit so that everything is as flat as possible. Then I added some colored sugar. Now I know not everyone will be able to find this or find a vegan version. So just look in the description box below and I will include a recipe to make your own vegan colored sugar. So then you're just going to keep continuing to layer the cake and the icing until you filled the whole jar. And there you go, there is your cake in a jar. And this recipe will make about two small mason jars. So for the shortbread cookies, you need half a cup of powdered sugar and just stir that to get any lumps out. And then you need three quarters of a cup of vegan butter softened. Then you're just going to cream that together until it is all combined. Then add a half cup of cornstarch and stir that until it's combined. And then add one cup of flour and again stir that until it's all combined. Next take two handfuls of dried cranberries and use a large chef's knife to chop them up into fine pieces. Then add that to the dough and give it a quick stir. Put the dough on a large piece of parchment paper and then you're going to fold the parchment paper in half over top of the dough and then that is a super easy and mess free way to roll the dough out. So then you can use a rolling pin or if you're like me and you don't have one, use a glass and you can just kind of slide it along the top of the parchment paper until you get to your desired thickness and this works so well and it was so easy and so quick. 
So then just peel that back and get your cookie cutter. So I'm using this little star cookie cutter, but honestly, any shape will work. You could even use a glass to cut out little circles. Then just transfer those onto a baking sheet. And then if you don't have a cookie cutter, you can use your hands to just roll some balls of dough and then use a fork to press them down like this. And these cookies are still amazing in either form. So if you don't have a cookie cutter, don't worry, just do it this way. Then you're just going to bake that at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, but just watch them to make sure that they don't burn. So then I just waited until they cooled and then I sprinkled on some edible glitter and this is actually vegan, so I can link it below if you're interested in finding that. I just got it from Michael's, which is a craft store here, but I'm sure you can order it online. So for the hot chocolate mix, you need about three tablespoons of cocoa or cacao, and then about double or a little less of cane sugars. So then I added some Dandy's vegan marshmallows on top, and then I also topped it with some chocolate chips, but you could also do um, candy cane pieces, like little mint candies, or really the sky is the limit. Like it, you can add whatever you want, and it's going to be amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you decide to make these for people, definitely post a picture or send me a message and let me know how it goes. As always, you can leave any questions below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.